This is a Be Kind to Pets educational video sponsored by Tapayo Vets. With the cat because they uh, have. Uh, correct because uh, the anesthetic dose uh, depends on the weight oh. and, and so we have to check it. have an examination of the cat. The carrying weight so it's three point six zero. It's just good. Mm -hmm. So I record on three six zero and then I bring the cat up here. Come. Okay. I feel the temperature and then I check the heart and lungs first oh, before I do good. other things. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Any yeah. name? Name for ginger. Ginger. Ginger domestic short hair. Do you mean one year, is it? No, less, I think uh, one, less than one year. So it's uh, 37.8, which is a bit low, but uh, normally it's 38. No? Oh, okay. So it's 37.8, well, mm -hmm. it's still within that. Uh, is she eating today? Is she eating? Yeah, she ate. Do you drink? Yes. Uh, pass those and urine. It should be a. Uh, Check the heart. Ginger. 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 Okay, so now I go to the examination. The physical examination will become this side. So I will check the the membrane first, see whether it's anemic or not. So I check. Let's quick. Has this cat been vaccinated? No, that's why I want to vaccinated. Mm, so. That will be later. Now this shows that it's a young cat because the teeth are all white. Oh, it's oh, a young cat. Uh, and uh, you can see the color is good. There's no ulcer. The tongue is quite pink. We check the capillary refill time where we press and see whether it comes back to the pink color or not. But this one can't do we can't do well. So the cat stays at home actually, right? Yeah, in my bedroom. So I check uh, the throat now. Uh. You see there's some sore throat. Okay. Then I check the the main thing is the swelling here. Yeah. See whether there are any kittens or not. The swelling has been the last two weeks, right? Yeah, we noticed it last week, so two weeks. But my mates noticed it three weeks ago. Yeah, so there are lumps there, uh, fetal lumps. Uh. Oh. So what I do, I turn upside down. Mm -hmm. But normally you can see whether the nipples, the breasts have uh, yeah. become bigger. Uh. I see the nipples. Yeah, it can be seen now. Uh, bigger. The bigger, uh, the, the nipples have grown uh, swollen. Uh. Yeah. So this shows that one of the signs uh, of pregnancy. Uh. The surgical risk is high. During pregnancy, the uterine blood vessels are very big and they carry a lot of blood. If not properly incised, the cat will lose a lot of blood. Also, anesthetic risk is higher during pregnancy. The consent form is signed to ensure that the owner understands the risks taken in carrying out the surgery. So what I need you is to sign the consent form. Mm -hmm. oh, just with the consent form. So what you do is uh, to fill up the sign actually. The anesthetic risk is higher when the cat is pregnant actually. Oh. Or compared to a normal non-pregnant cat. Oh, you they have? You're, you're the owner, right? I'm the owner. To. Due to the high stray cat population in Singapore, the Cat Welfare Society implemented a program called Trap Neuter Release. In this program, sterilized cats have their ears tipped to prevent getting cold. It is important to find out if the owner prefers to tip the cat's ear or to leave it. This one is a home cat, right? This one is a stray cat. No, I mean bring home, is it? I bring I brought home. So you don't need to cut the ears, huh? Tip. No, I mean normally stray cats we. There were two possible diagnoses. It could be closed pyometra or pregnancy. After a thorough physical examination, Dr. Singh felt that it was more likely to be pregnancy. This was to be confirmed with surgery.
This is an image of the four kittens removed from the uterus. The cat recovered from anesthesia and was brought home to recover. Thank you for watching.